Now for most of us, ATMs or automated teller machines mean cash withdrawal. But in South Africa, patients are using ATMs to withdraw medicines. How does that work? This report tells you more. Take a look. Meet Nia Hotiri, a South African engineer who suffered from tuberculosis. He dreaded long queues to get his much-needed medication. He has now come up with a solution to help thousands of people get their medicines in just 36 seconds. He created Palabox, a medicine ATM. I was trained to build solutions and product. Um, the idea was to then say, can we build a product that is patient-centric, um, that speaks to us first as patients, um, while still adhering to all of the regulatory requirements and all of the um, framework that the Department of Health wants to exist to improve access to care. South Africa has 7.5 million patients living with HIV, which is the highest in the world. This medicine ATM allows people with HIV and other chronic diseases to collect their medication in a matter of seconds instead of waiting for hours at public health facilities in long queues. The machine makes it easier because some patients would say uh, coming to the clinic is stress already for them and then waiting again for medication it's another stress. So how does this medicine ATM work? First the lockers are stocked with prescription drugs placed there by health workers. Patients then receive a notification on their phones and use an ATM-like machine and a pin to access the medicine. Pillbox is okay. It's not stressful. For instance, when I get a message on my phone, I can go and fetch it the day after. Even if I have work to do, I can go get my medication. I don't need to wait in long queues at the clinic anymore. So I just come in, get my medication and leave. I'm happy about that. This medicine ATM costs more than $16,000 and its monthly maintenance cost is more than $240. Pelebox is much cheaper than South Africa's newly launched pharmacy dispensing units which cost more than $700,000. With advanced features, Pelebox is way ahead of its time in the tech world. People want to leverage technology. They want to um, have access to that um, uh, fourth IR environment where, they, where they're engaging with um, this next frontier of, um, of service delivery that leverages the particular technology. People are hungry for systems that work for them. While these medicine ATMs might be able to help the poverty-stricken country in enabling fast distribution of medicines, but more such machines are needed to deal with South Africa's crumbling health infrastructure. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.